Hello everyone, welcome to the 2017 yearly wrap up. We're going to go straight into highlights of 2017 and we're going to start with two slides which were exactly that, slides for presentations that I did at two courses about Reborns to people who had absolutely no idea. They were so generous with their kind compliments and encouragement that led me to doing my very first doll show in July. It was an experience that I've never had before, both bad and good, and I'm so glad that I did it in the end. And and I came away with awards for my two babies, so it was a very, very special um, event in my life this year. I also got to babysit a full body silicone Rosie this year, and it was really nice learning the difference about silicone versus vinyl. I was humbled to be asked by Make-A-Wish to make a reborn for a little girl. Here she is with her, and I just am so humbled by this opportunity. It was my favorite of the year. And speaking of the year of reborning, let's get into some facts about it first. I made 44 babies this year. I know, that's crazy. We're one up from last year only, thank God. But here is the stats of how many babies I made in each sort of category. I had a lot of fun trying to improve my AA skin toning. I still got a long way to go. We're now looking at the babies that I deem my favorite painting-wise. So Millie, Esme, I loved her painting. It was just over the moon. And look at her feet, like, ugh. Oh. I wish I could do another baby just like her. She was so good. And my last baby this year was Brie. I really perfected the translucent look. I was so happy. Looking at my favorite hairstyles this year, this is Emmett's hair. Um, here you can see another shot of his hair. And I really like the color on him. The very first um, toddler lot of hair that I did this year um, was on Annalise. And I just love those curls. They're so adorable. And this is Millen's head. Unfortunately, I don't have him on his body, but this was my most realistic, I think. And everyone loved Kennedy's hair, to the point that I had like five more orders with this hair color. And we're moving on to the most unexpected baby that I fell in love with. I didn't like the ginger cat when I met it, but I fell in love with it afterwards. She's just such a dream, and I'm so glad I got the opportunity. Here's how she ended up. Not my favorite in the end, but I definitely liked her beforehand. And the mishaps of the year go to Milo, unfortunately, with her veining. And again, with Emmett, um, the veining just went kind of crooked. <laughs> so we're looking at the Saskias. I was um, employed by um, several people to make Saskias. Um, so we made Matteo, we made Brooklyn, we made Talia, and then we made two more, Kennedy again. Um, she was the favorite of the year by most people. And last but not least, I was asked to recreate Nico again, but this is Saskia number six. So I made five Saskias this year. On to my collection and the changes. So we're going to start with the holidays that we celebrated. We did Valentine's Day this year, and then we did Easter. I really love this shot so much, even though everyone's not looking up. And then we did Halloween. Some of these babies aren't mine, <laughs> as you can tell. And the three little ones, this is my favorite shot from the festive um, photos I took this year. And finally, my Christmas photo. So this is my current collection, as you can see. Um, but we're going to look at my collection and how it's changed over this year. So um, here is some shots from that. We've had a lot of changes in the babies and a lot of designs that I wanted to. Here's the one where they're dressed in opposite genders. I think that photo is so cute. So Perry left the nest first this year and she went to Australia. And then this one followed her to the same home, Miss Harriet, now known as Chloe. Well, I had my very first Jimin arrive um, and he was everything to me, but unfortunately I sold him on. I also rehomed Maggie. Um, she went at the doll show. And then I got a new Jimin in and I'm so happy I have him. He's just super adorable. The last to leave was Octavia. She has recently gone to the same home as Millie. And this is my collection to date. I have the twins up for sale, but we'll talk about that in the new year. On to the crafts I did this year. So I did a lot of crochet this year. I didn't think I had, but I'm looking back and there's a lot of cool things that I made. And I'm so glad that I've been pushing myself. I've been doing a series on the channel called Crochet and Reborns, and you guys have loved that. So I will definitely be continuing that into 2018. These are just some of the things that I really enjoyed making. There were loads more, but I obviously didn't want to make the video excessively long. So um, I'm just finishing up with some other things now. So I made Jimin his own Santa outfit and also his little Christmas. Um, we do a, like a photo shoot each year. That was his outfit. 
this was my latest project I absolutely love it it's a photo prop and finally we're looking at bullet journaling this is something I picked up this year this is my first layout and my one going into 2018 Speaking of which, it is the last day of 2017. I'm feeling a lot of nostalgia looking back at all these photos. I hope that you're all well going into the new year. And I will see you on the flip side, which is tomorrow. Um, so I'm hoping to have some really good videos coming up in the next week. So do check them out very soon. A lot of videos will be linked in the description bar below. Thank you so much for stopping by today. And Happy New Year. Bye, everyone.